Hello and welcome to EdTech Hustle. Today you'll learn how to create a moving avatar. As always, like, comment, subscribe, and if you like this content, leave a super thanks. All right, well, thank you to my AI assistant, Karen. The website we're going to want to go to is called Synthesia.io. Now, whenever I share a platform or a website, the one question that I always get is, is this free? Well, let's go ahead and take a look at the pricing. All right, so if I scroll down, you can see on the left, there is a basic plan. Now it is free to try, but it does limit you to a number of three minutes of video per month, as well as a limited number of avatar selections and a total of 36 minutes of video per year. But hopefully that's enough for you to consider the starter pack, which is $18 a month. This is great because it will give you the opportunity to try this service out and see if it's something that you'll want to use regularly. All right, here we are. Now there's so much you can do with Synthesia beyond the short little video that we're going to create today to put into our presentation, but let's just create that video first. So to do that, I'm just going to go to where it says new video all the way to the left. And now you have a number of different topics on here, but and now you have a number of different templates that you can use and edit and customize if you'd like, but I'm going to go down here and select start from blank. All right, so this is the main Synthesia editor. It's very simple. It's almost like editing like a slide based or a PowerPoint presentation. You can see our different scenes to the left here. It's just like a slide. The script is down here at the right where we're going to be inputting our dialogue. And then you have some options over here on the right hand side of the screen. So the first thing that I want to do is say the dialogue that I want my avatar to speak. So in this case, I'm just going to erase this and I'm going to paste and this is the script it's just kind of an, an outro that I'm going to create for me all right so this outro sounds pretty good now the next thing that we can do is select the avatar that we want to host so in this case there's a number of different choices. Now you can see some of the different options. And if you look down here on the side, it will show you some of the different types of avatars. Now the ones that I'm going to use are called express avatars, which means that they have expression. They don't just kind of stand there and, and do nothing. So I guess I will choose, let me choose this guy. Okay, that now replaced my avatar. And now what I can also do is add text if I want to, but in this case, this is just going at the end of my video. So I'm just going to erase all this text, but if I ever wanted to add some text, I could just add it right over here. There's also ways for me to add shapes or even add my own media on the slide in the same way that you could lay out your slide inside PowerPoint. Now, the other nice thing that's here is that you can select the background media. Now I've done this before and I've just filled this background with like a green color and then remove that color with like a green screen effect in an editor. But today I'm going to actually choose what's called environments. And environments are some really nice scenes that are available through Synthesia, really high quality photos, and you can select based on some of the topics up here. So let me just say, let's do a coffee shop here. Here's a nice coffee shop and we've got our speaker right over here. Now you can make it larger, you can make it smaller. By default, this is sort of a mid shot, but you can also to do a close-up shot if you want as well but I think I'll leave this as mid same thing with appearance if you want you can either leave them like that if we go full it kind of gives you the full appearance you also have the option to create a circle or a box but I'll leave it back to our uh, our full there we go now what we can do is customize our text. The first thing that we'll have to do is choose a voice. So if I select our avatar down here and I choose the voice to the right hand side of this menu, it's going to give me first the default voice. Let's take a listen. Thanks so much for watching. Found this helpful. Don't forget to hit like. All right. So not too bad. And then we also have a couple other choices. Let's just listen to a few more. Thanks so much for watching. If you found this helpful. Okay, let's just do one more. Thanks so much for watching. 
if you found this helpful. You know what? I think I just really like this voice, which is just the relaxed voice. So I'm going to choose this. Now, there's a few other options that you can use if once you preview this to make sure that this reads exactly the way that you want. So sometimes it reads a little bit too fast. What you can do is manually put a pause in here by just command clicking or by just con by just control clicking like right over here. And you can see there's a way that we can add a number of different things like a pause right here. We can specify how long we want our speaker to pause. I'm just gonna get rid of that because I don't really want that pause in there. But some other things as well. So if I take a word like synthesia and I'm not quite sure or, or this this speaker doesn't quite pronounce it the way he pronounced it pronounces it phonetically and it doesn't quite sound right, there is a way that I can go in and I can manually change the pronunciation for this word. So a nice way to customize this. But you know, I think that this is just about done. So once you're finished, you can select generate at the top right hand side of the screen. We're going to give this a name. And we're going to select generate. You can see this says 10 minutes, but I don't think it should take too long. And now we'll wait for that to be finished. I should receive a notification once it's done. Okay, so it looks like our AI avatar is finished. Let's go ahead and play it. Thanks so much for watching. If you found this helpful, don't forget to hit like. It really helps the channel. Drop a comment below with your thoughts or Perfect. Now, it's that easy to create an avatar with Synthesia. So now, how am I able to download this? Well, if you see up at the top right hand side, there's an option where you can click those three dots. And now what we'll do is choose this option where we can download this at, in a number of files. I'm going to choose download the video as an MP4. And I'm just going to stick this at the end of the video you're watching right now. So it's just that easy. So go ahead ahead, you can go to Synthesia.com, sign up for free and start creating your own AI avatar to, for either your intro or your outro video. Thanks so much for watching. If you found this helpful, don't forget to hit like. It really helps the channel. Drop a comment below with your thoughts or what you'd use Synthesia for. And of course, make sure you subscribe to EdTech Hustle so you don't miss future videos. If you'd like to support the channel directly, you can also leave a donation. Every bit helps me keep creating content for you. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next one.